Yeah, he's got his crash helmet on. Um, so this is Brady. On Wednesday, Waltham resident Natasha Hawk appeared at the lodge at Prospect Hill to share her passion for raptors with a packed room full of kids, parents, and birders. Hawk is a licensed falconer. For hundreds of years, falconers have used birds of prey to help hunt small game such as rabbits and squirrels. But first they have to trap the birds and earn their trust. And the, the sort of first step in the manning process, which is that word again, manning, to get it used to man. It's to get it to eat from you and to eat off the glove. And to, for him to eat off the glove, he has to bend his neck. Yeah, I'm talking about eating. <laughs> he has to bend his neck all the way down to his feet. And that's like the ultimate vulnerable position. He's exposing the back of his neck. That's, you know, he's not going to trust me enough to do that, <coughs> frankly, until he's starving to death. So I don't feed him. I only offer it on the glove. And eventually, that hunger will win over the fear. And then the next step is having him actually step to my glove, step to me to take food from me. And then we've got a lot of trust going by this point. Look and see if you can tell which wing of his is broken. Wow, what is that? Yeah, the one closest to me, yeah. You're Hawk does not use Cupid, a barred owl, for her falconry. He was hit by a car and rehabilitated to serve as an educational bird. Hawk stumped many in the audience with a question about why Cupid can turn his head nearly 360 degrees. Turns out it's because he has 12 vertebrae compared to the seven we humans have. Brady is an elegant and feisty red-tailed hawk. He's not the kind of bird who just wants to sit on the fist and look pretty all day. He wants to hunt. The audience was a little overwhelmed when Hawk fed a dead mouse to Brady. She feeds him unused frozen mice and chicks from a science lab. In addition to keeping kids enthralled by raptor facts and anecdotes, Hawk gave some good advice to birders. But everybody says MIT is the best place for raptors because there's so many rats. Um, at, at the big colleges, there really are lots of rats. These McDevitt students were glad to spend some of their vacation week learning about the magnificent birds. I mean, I thought a raptor was a type of di dinosaur. <laughs> The event was put on by Waltham Land Trust, a conservation group about to celebrate its 10th anniversary. One of its members also learned a lot. Um, it was a nice combination of some um, personal facts about how she is a falconer and, and, and how she, she does that, and, uh, and also um, some really kind of technical details uh, here and there too. So it was, was great for all the little kids and for the adults too. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.